Hello, my little brilliant readers, and welcome to Storytime. I'm so glad you joined me today. We have a really wonderful book to read. It's called I Am Human, a book of empathy. Empathy is a special word that means that you can understand and share the feelings of someone else. Have you ever been able to feel what someone else is feeling? Then you have empathy. This book, I Am Human, a book of empathy, is written by Susan Verde. The art is by Peter H. Reynolds. I'm so excited to begin. Let's go. I was born, a miracle, one of billions, but unique. I am human. I am always learning. I'm finding my way and choosing my path on this incredible journey. I have big dreams. I see possibility. I have endless curiosity. I make discoveries. I have a feeling of wonder. I am amazed by nature. I have a playful side. I find joy in friendships. I am human. But being human means I am not perfect. I make mistakes. I can hurt others with my words, my actions, and even my silence. I can be hurt too. I can be fearful of things I don't yet understand and timid to try something new. I have a heavy heart when I feel sadness. I am human. But then I remind myself that because I am human, I can make choices. I can move forward. A poor choice can become a better choice with thoughtfulness. A bad day can become a great day with kindness. I can act with compassion and lend a helping hand. I can treat others with equality and be fair. I can choose not to fight, but instead to listen and find common ground. I can say I'm sorry and ask for forgiveness. I am human, one of billions but unique. I am not alone. I am connected to my friends, to my family, to the world. We are all humans together. And I will keep trying to be the best version of me. I am full of hope. I am human. The author wrote us a note. The journey of being a human is full of challenges, but it's also full of possibilities. This story is what it means to be human, both as an individual 
and in our whole big worldwide human community. We get to choose how we respond to our mistakes. We can learn from them and we can change. We can be kind to one another even when it's difficult. We can choose love and compassion and celebrate the humanness in all of us. One wonderful way to show love and kindness with all humans is to practice a loving kindness meditation. You know that doctors and scientists have found out that it has lots of really positive effects in your mind and in your body. A few of the benefits of loving kindness meditation are relaxation, strengthening the areas in the brain that are responsible for empathy, emotional regulation and resilience, and increase in positive emotions and compassion, and a decrease in bias and self-criticism. Here is a really nice loving kindness meditation that you can use. I will read it to you first. May you be healthy. May you be happy. May you be free from suffering. May you be filled with peace. Oh, that sounds so nice. I'd love it if you did it with me. Close your eyes and think of someone you love. Now repeat after me. May you be healthy. May you be happy. May you be free from suffering. May you be filled with peace. Very nice. Now, keep your eyes closed, but this time, imagine someone you don't know and say after me, may you be healthy. May you be happy. May you be free from suffering. May you be filled with peace. Oh, that was very nice. And finally, I would like it with your eyes closed if you think about you and say after me, may I be healthy. May I be happy. May I be free from suffering. May I be filled with peace. Oh, that was so nice. Now, take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. <sighs> Open your eyes. I'm so happy that you read our story about empathy. And I hope that you have a day full of love and kindness. I love you.